do you provide customer service excellence as a strategy for growth to supersize and grow your business? Sharon Horn Nelson here. This is number 13 of our top 20 business growth supersizing strategies. And I've broken each of these down into, I picked my top 20 favorite based on, you know, five decades of experience in different types of businesses in different industries to grow and build and supersize a business. And today's is again one of my favorites of course there's my top 20 list so there's a lot of them my favorites but customer service excellence is an area where you can differentiate your business and it's entirely up to you you can decide to do this or not vast majority of businesses do not do this so it's kind of a secret backdoor way to create a benefit to your customers by doing something in your business that you have complete control over now do you have complete control over how your customers respond to it no but you have complete control over applying a system that provides great customer service to your customers so that they know that you care about them and value them. So what are our four steps in order to make this happen in our business? Number one, we have to have service standards. We have to know what are our clear and specific standards and expectations for customer service. Secondly, we need training and empowerment. We have to train our customer service people and all the people in our organization on interacting with our customers and how we expect them to be treated and communicated with and then we need to empower people in our organization to solve problems for customers right doesn't do any good if we just have these expectations that the customer is always right or the customer is never right because some companies have that philosophy and we don't have a way of training and teaching our employees that they do have the power to solve a problem for a customer. Most problems that customers have are really, really tiny in the overall scheme of things. But we have like a rule or a process or a, a, a way of doing something in our business that, oh, we can't do that. Nowadays, a lot of fixes for customers is a push of a button on the computer or entering a, a code or a value into a computer uh, screen in order to fix a person's problem and to make them completely happy and delighted with our organization. Yet we say no, because management says no. And so I, I have a lot of strong feelings about this and how we treat customers uh, and, and that it is 100% within our control. Now, it doesn't mean that the customers are always right. There is such a thing as a customer that is not right for our business. And I've got lots of stories about that from my past, but we need to, First, have standards and expectations. Secondly, we have to have training on those and then empowering people to, to tweak and push the edges of those rules or guidelines or expectations when it makes sense and when it's the right thing to do. Thirdly, we need to have feedback channels that our customers can reach us through. I don't know about you, but have you ever tried to contact Facebook customer service? How about your cell phone company? How about your utilities? Uh, can't tell you how much time in my life I have spent on hold waiting for some customer service organization to answer and only, only, this is the worst part, to get cut off after waiting 15 minutes on hold. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to me more times than I like to admit. Now I just have someone else call customer service for me or I send an email because I'm not expecting excellent customer service from everyone. I think that we should, but I've been so disappointed that I don't. That's why this is such a great strategy because it's easy to do and most companies won't even bother to do it. Now, what does it tell you if they have bad customer service? It tells me that they don't care about my business, so I'm gonna find somebody else to do business with. And then finally, our fourth step is continuous improvement. We have to always be looking at this system, this strategy, just like everything else in our company on a regular basis and saying, and reacting to the information and the feedback that we get. We get the feedback, we make changes and tweaks to our system, and then we continually improve that system. So I am a huge believer that this is one of the secret ways to really supersize and grow your business. And it is, again, 100% within our control to implement and put in place. It's not hard. We don't have to personally do it ourselves, which is probably the best part of it, but we do have to make sure that the system gets created and that it has training and empowerment and feedback channels for customers to reach us as well as continuous improvement in terms of uh, making sure that the system grows as we grow. Love to know your experience with customer service and customer service excellence. I'm sure you have some stories just like I do. Share in the comments below so we can learn from one another. And I will be with you tomorrow with number 14 of our top 20 
business supersizing strategies. Have an awesome day. Bye. Well, I guess you're just going to look at my face because my slow connection is blocking my ability to